According to surveys, the average American student spends somewhere between eight and nine hours a day beyond school actually being online. If students can't tell the difference between fallacious information, spurious information, and information that's solid, then we can essentially do away with the whole idea of an informed citizen. The main objectives of SHEG uh, included creating curricula that were easy to use and that were transportable and that went beyond the single voice of the textbook. The Stanford History Education Group is leaving Stanford after nearly two decades. With DIG, we hope to have an even greater impact. We want to continue to make freely available materials that are classroom ready, evidence-based, and allow teachers to support their students to be historical thinkers and to prepare them for digital citizenship. What stands out most in terms of the curriculum that DIG offers is that it is both based on research and also tested by research. So for example, our Reading Like a Historian lessons are based on the historical thinking skills identified by our co-founder, Professor Sam Weinberg, as the skills that historians use when they read primary sources. And our Civic Online Reasoning curriculum similarly is based on research that we did with experts, learning how fact checkers evaluate online information. And we have subsequently conducted various uh, research studies to demonstrate that they do improve students' abilities to discern uh, fact from fiction online. The Civic Online Reasoning Curriculum is an exciting addition to the traditional history classroom. We are learning skills that we can use as historians, but we're also you know, adapting to technology. One of the beautiful parts of this curriculum is that there's a lot of adaptations. How do we analyze a source? How do we analyze an image? How do we analyze the author of a source? But now it's online, so students are using these skills not only in the classroom, but really in their daily lives. I don't think it's ever been more important to teach digital literacy than it is right now. Had we had more members of our society, including youth, have digital literacy um, at the levels that are needed to understand misinformation and disinformation, then we may have seen different outcomes. As DIG, we hope to offer even more professional development opportunities for educators all across the country and around the world. We are going to be offering both synchronous online sessions and developing new asynchronous professional development workshops, both around reading like a historian and also civic online reasoning. We see students and teachers and districts as partners in all of our work. None of this would be possible if we didn't have partners all across the country helping us to improve these materials.